All right, thank you, Danielle. The Alabama legislative session begins a week from tomorrow, and ahead of the new session, two lawmakers from North Alabama got to hear from people in their districts about the issues they want fixed. And News 19's Deidre Briscoe has more. People met with state representatives from District 53 and 19 to talk about their concerns as the legislative session returns next week. They took turns talking to House Minority Leader Anthony Daniels and Representative Laura Hall about topics ranging from school funding, prison reform, infrastructure to rebates. But it was education that took a precedence overall. Um, as the chair of the Desegregation Advisory Committee, obviously I'm thinking about CRT. Uh, or the lack thereof here specifically in Huntsville City Schools. And so what I wanted to make sure of was that um, as we're talking about those divisive concepts, um, that understand that our history has some divisive issues that we're addressing. While the type of education is the focus of parents, Representative Daniel says he has objections about school choice bills headed to the legislative floor. There's no evidence that there's been any academic progress just because it's one system versus the other. And so that's where I have an issue. I think when we compare apples to apples, let's do that. But let's not um, give false hope to families that are out there that need to, uh, their, and their children need access to uh, quality education. Let's focus on a funding model that works for public education. Let's focus on outcomes and let's move in that direction. Now Representative Hall says education, health care and economics are the things that she plans to focus on. Education is always a major issue uh, as it relates to uh, concerns that people have. They want, I mean, there you can't find a parent or an individual that does not want children to go to school and get a good education. Health issues, making sure that there are adequate funds for making sure those individuals that have a need that they get the health care that they need. 58 bills have been pre-filed for the 2023 legislative session, but more bills are set to be brought up as the 2023 session reconvenes March 7th. Reporting in Huntsville, Deidre Briscoe, News 19.